Welcome to Amazing Top 10 Facts. Please subscribe our channel, ring the bell, give us thumbs up, and leave comment. Anyone who has seen film and television productions such as the Transformers series is no stranger to stocks like aliens and UFOs. UFOs are unidentified flying objects, and behind the popular culture and public opinion associated with them, it is human curiosity and fear of unknown civilizations. Historically, UFOs have been recorded in many countries around the world, and even masses have witnessed them collectively. Today, Amazing Top 10 Facts bring you 5 Famous UFO Sightings in Recent 130 Years Hot Fire in the Sky, Nanjing, China, 1892 The sighting occurred in Nanjing, China in 1892. Wiru, a well-known painter at that time, drew this event as an illustration, hot fire in the sky and published it in a pictorial. According to the figure in the drawing, on November 17, 1892, at 8 o'clock in the evening. To the south of Nanjing City, a group of fire blankets appearing like giant eggs suddenly appeared in the air, slowly flying from west to east, and eventually disappeared. Hundreds of people saw the scene on the head of the Suzaku Bridge in the Confucius Temple in Nanjing at the time. There are many different opinions. Some people speculate that it may be a meteor, but this object is flying slowly and does not flash like a meteor. Some people have speculated that the sky lantern is being cast, but this object is flying against the wind, which is obviously not a sky lantern. Others said that the object would make a slight sound when flying. The artist Wuyuru interviewed the people who witnessed the UFO at that time, and draw the incident as an illustration, entitled Hot Fire in the Sky, published in a pictorial. In this drawing, there are nearly 50 people with different expressions. The inscription in the drawing records detailed information such as the time, place, and number of witnesses. And analyzes the object to eliminate the possibility of a meteor and sky lantern. This drawing and this pictorial are now in the Shanghai Bayou on Library. Some experts consider this illustration to be China's earliest UFO record. West Hill High School, Melbourne, Australia, 1966 On April 6, 1966, at West Hill High School in Melbourne, Australia, more than 300 teachers and students witnessed UFOs flying quietly over the ground before landing on adjacent open spaces. This is the biggest UFO sighting in Australia. 50 years have passed. The students of that year have become grandparents. But they still remember the scene of that year, and some of them were interviewed. UFO researcher and photographer Keebel visited Greenwood, a teacher at Westall School, and recorded his experience. The recording was only made public in recent years. Keebel said, Greenwood told me that the UFO caught his attention for the first time because a hysterical child ran into the classroom and told him there was a flying saucer outside. Greenwood thought the child might be a little insane, so he didn't pay much attention to what he said. But when the child insisted that the object was in the sky, he decided to go out and take a look. Outside, Greenwood saw a group of children looking northeast of the campus. When he stepped forward, he found a UFO hovering near the electric wire. He said it was the most amazing event he had ever seen in his life. Another teacher said that five planes orbited the UFO. Whenever an aircraft approaches UFO, it will slowly accelerate at first, then speed up, then away from the aircraft and stop, and the aircraft will catch up again. The air chase lasted about 20 minutes. Greenwood said about 360 teachers and students were watching. Other witnesses said that after the incident, several men in black suits came to school. They warned everyone to stop discussing this case. Washington Flap, Washington, D.C., U.S., 1952 A series of UFO reports occurred in Washington, D.C., from July 12 to July 29, 1952. The most well-known sightings occurred on two consecutive weekends, July 19 and 20 and July 26 and 27. In this incident, the radar center at Washington, D.C., airport captured unknown objects in each radar sector. Unknown objects sometimes move slowly, and sometimes you turn across the entire radar oscilloscope at speeds of up to 7,000 miles per hour. 
UFO historian Curtis Peebles called the event the climax of the 1952 UFO flap. The Blue Book Project and the Air Force have never before and will never experience such a large number of UFO reports. The 1952 number and its numerous UFO reports shocked the Air Force and the CIA. Both believed that hostile nations can deliberately use false UFO reports to flood the United States, create widespread panic, and allow them to launch attacks secretly. On September 24, 1952, the CIA's Office of Scientific Intelligence sent a memo to CIA Director Walter Bedell Smith. The memo states, the situation of the flying saucer, involving national security, is a phenomenon of public concern, with the potential to trigger large-scale hysteria and panic. Stephenville, Texas, U.S., 2008 On January 8, 2008, Stephenville gained national media attention when dozens of residents reported observations of UFOs. Several residents described a craft as the size of a football field, while others said they were nearly a mile long, similar to the Phoenix Lights mass sightings of March 13, 1997. Some observers reported military aircraft pursuing the objects. CNN's Larry King covered the news story in the days following the incident. And according to Steve Allen, a private pilot who witnessed the UFO, the object was traveling at high speed which supposedly reached 3,000 feet in the air. Allen said it was about a half a mile wide and about a mile long. It was humongous, whatever it was. The History Channel show UFO Hunters featured a story about the UFO sightings. Witnesses believed the event was reminiscent of the Phoenix Light sightings of 1997. While the U.S. Air Force revealed weeks later that F-16s were flying in the Brownwood military operating areas, just southwest of Stephenville. Many townspeople didn't buy that explanation, believing that what they saw was too technologically advanced for current human abilities. Phoenix Lights, Phoenix, Arizona, U.S., 1997 Around 8 p.m. on March 12, 1997, residents of the area reported that bright lights appeared overhead. Many people have witnessed the appearance of five or six amber light spots arranged in a V-shape in the night sky, flying slowly and silently with a uniform arrangement. These light spots flew from the north to the south, and then turned to the northwest until they disappeared. The flight range was about 300 miles, 480 kilometers, and the flight time lasted more than three hours. According to sightings, the flying object is a very large black triangle, and its estimated span is at least 1.6 kilometers, 1 mile. More than 7,000 people found that these light spots flew slowly arranging in a V-shape. This is one of the largest UFO sightings in history. The UFO was photographed by the masses at multiple angles. Simanton, then governor of Arizona, denied that there was a UFO at the press conference and asked staff to act as aliens to participate in the press conference in an attempt to put the matter to rest. On the evening of February 5, 2007, this unknown flying object appeared again in the air of Phoenix. Radio stations, television stations, and police stations have received a large number of inquiries from the public. People need to know what the UFO is. Later, officers at Yuma Navy Base near Phoenix declared that the flying objects were the target of A-10 fighter training courses. However, many people believe that these flashes are lined up and fly a long distance by themselves, which is completely different from the flight training route of aircraft. By the evening of April 21, 2008, these mysterious light spots appeared again over Phoenix. These light spots were red this time, and the arrangement was changed. In 2007, the film company based on the events of 1997 and made the movie Night Skies. If you haven't seen it with your own eyes, it may be difficult to believe that UFOs really exist but these real UFO sightings remind people to think about a long-standing question. Are we really alone in the universe? Do you like our videos? Please subscribe our channel. Ring the bell give us thumbs up, and leave comment.